Hey guys, JT Tran here. Now, Heather and I want to talk about the subject that I get a lot. How do you date, if you're an Asian guy like me, 5'5", five, five, how do you date a taller, hot blonde? <laughs> so like, how tall are you, Heather? I am 5'9". So, she's crawling on the, the tall, tall side. Um, and you've dated though, like short Asian guys, like almost exclusively. Yeah, I mean, it just kind of happened that way. I wasn't, I mean, Height is honestly not a big deal for me. Not for you, but for a lot of girls yeah. it is. And mentally for a lot of guys, and I get this question all the time, we're a little bit insecure about our height. Like I used to be being 5'5", five five, but you know what? Over half the girls I've ever dated are taller than me. Um, but for you, it's not a big deal. Uh, but also I think like when you've told me some of the stories about your ex-boyfriends and the guys that you dated, mm -hmm. they did certain things that maybe another insecure, insecure short guy might not have done. Yeah. Like what, what was one thing um, that you would say that a short guy can do you know, trying to date a taller girl? Yeah, well, um, my very first boyfriend was five foot five and like 125 pounds. Um, but the way he held himself, like his physical stature and just the body language he body used, language, yeah. he owned the room when yeah. he walked in. We call that command presence. Yeah, and you know, he could, he just had a way of being able to not make me feel so big. Like, five foot nine next to five foot five, you do. Yeah, the <laughs> there's a pretty big gap. I've been there. Yeah, but you know, he, he had a way of being able to, like, if we were kissing or like making out, he was able to just be able to wrap himself around me and make me feel like I'm, you know, I'm safe or like I'm just no. enveloped. So. That's the thing. I think unconsciously women want to be, you know, protected. I know this is the 21st century, but there's like so many studies out there that have shown that it's still a very dangerous world for girls. I think statistically something like, was it a one out of four uh, women that someone's tried to like sexually assault them? And that, that's crazy if you think about it. So. Even if you know she is like a, a tall, like five foot ten, whatever, she still wants to be felt safe and protected. And if you're a short guy, there's this kind of unconscious belief that we're not as big and strong. So you have to, at least, if you're not gonna be bigger, like physically bigger than life, you have to be like emotionally bigger than life, like commanding that room, commanding that respect. Carrying yourself like you can take care of not only yourself, but her. Because um, I'll hear this comment from girls all the time where one of the reasons they don't want to date a shorter guy or someone that's even like um, slimmer than them is they don't want to hug a girl, I mean, hug a guy and feels like it's hugging a girl. So when you hug or when you embrace or when you kiss, there has to be that kind of masculine feminine dichotomy like that you know where we complement one another she's soft and you're <laughs> not the double entendre but like hard <laughs> um but one of my tips i'll give my guys is if she is very tall i will sit down right sitting down you can kind of have a more serious conversation and when you're sitting down the height difference is not so pronounced and then you can like grab her kiss her or maybe you can sit on the table and then you like you can pull her in right or if you're leaning against the wall you can like pull her down to you um what other kind of tips that uh, you can give when it comes to dating a shorter guy well i like that one right where if you're sitting down like we would maybe be sitting on a couch sometime, right? And he'd be sitting up and maybe I'm lying down in maybe not, what is the word, like for spooning sort of thing, but maybe have my head on his chest or in his lap or something like that. And to erase the height difference, you know, she's gonna, she's gonna feel that too. She's gonna feel that, oh, we're even, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> And there's a really good tactic, I just thought of this, um, you can do this in the car or wherever, you're sitting side by side, you just put your, your head in her lap and you pull down, right? And so it doesn't seem like you're, you're I mean there's a different elevation, but it, it's different than like the, the height, right? Um, and you know, when you hug, like hug like a man, and like pull her in like a man, there has to be a certain amount of assertiveness and dominance. And again, to feel, to feel like she's being led, um, and to feel like she's with a man. And even if you're short, it doesn't matter. You have to display that ability, display that emotional and physical competence so that she feels safe and that she's turned on by you. So in your experience, like what type of like, um, what are all the heights that you've dated? We know we've listed this out. Officially, the shortest was five foot five. 
Although I was mad crushing on a five foot three guy for a while. Wow. So it was like, <laughs> you guys got a chance. And, um, you know, five foot seven, five foot nine. The tallest guy I dated was five foot 11. That's the tallest, just like one time. Yeah, one time. Okay. <laughs> so again, it's completely possible for short guys to date and to kiss like hot, uh, taller women. But again, it's not simply just going to happen. You have to be the exception to the rule. Okay, you you have to be bigger than life, and you don't carry yourself as a short guy. You carry yourself as a big guy. All right. Uh, any last words when it comes to dating shorter men or, or short guys dating taller women? Just don't let that be a factor. Mm. So many girls already, like if they're tall, may have a complex about being tall. So. Just look at it from their perspective too. Like, you might be worried that you're short. She might be worried that you're tall. At the end of the day, does it even really matter? Like, mm -hmm. you might have a great relationship. So just go for it. Don't let that be the thing that stops you. Cool, cool. All right. Hope you found that educational. Okay. Short guys like us, we got we got a chance. Um, be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for the next video. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye. Okay. Well, I was just curious if you were interested in white girls, like me. I have a thing for Asian men and it's hard to meet them. Would you guys be interested in hanging out? Would you be interested in hanging out? Would you go on a date with me? I can show you around. Do you think I'm pretty? What? Hi. Chongjin, I'm Sing. Uh huh. I'm looking for the, oh. the, the hidden cameras. Hey guys, JT here. Now, I get messages from guys all the time asking me like, JT, 